This is a test of the 1.5 horsepower Black & Decker variable speed pool pump. We will be operating it at 1200 RPM, 2500 RPM, and 3200 RPM. The system is set up for 2 inch plumbing, a 150 square foot cartridge filter, and the total dynamic head is approximately equal to 30 feet. Let's get started. 1200 RPM. probably call that 31 unless it's just settled here I guess 30 we'll call that 30 gallons per minute 100 watts power consumption 0.51 amps of current draw twenty five hundred rpm Seventy one gallons per minute, six hundred and twenty five watts power consumption, two point six six amps current draw. Thirty two hundred. Take a look at the filter pressure. I see that as eight and a half. Eight and a half. About 90, perhaps 91, 93, 92. Okay, stop it. 91. 1 1.25 kilowatts power consumption, 5.32 amps of current draw. Let's go ahead and program this Black & Decker variable speed pump. We're going to be doing 15 hours at 1200 RPM, 5 hours at 2500 RPM, and 4 hours at 3200 RPM. We have 4 speed selection slots that we can use here. So what we're going to do is we're going to break up the 15 hours at 1200 RPM. We're going to break that up into an 8 hour segment and a 7 hour segment, just so it's not all 15 hours at low speed at once. So when you're programming the Black & Decker variable speed pump, kind of everything is based off of speed one. Speed one is your priority, and it's the only one that you're gonna set the time of day for. The rest of them are all going to be dependent on this. So let's say we, we're gonna start our speed one here at 5 a.m. That's what we're gonna program it to do. And let's say we run it for eight hours. Well, speed two doesn't ask us what time we're gonna start. It just says, well, how many hours? because it's all going to be based off of speed one. So that's how these Black & Decker pumps work for programming. Let's go ahead and just do one together now so that you can see it in action. So when you see the flashing LED here, right now it's under speed, that means that I can make a change to this programming. That's what the flashing indicates. So I'm gonna change speed one here all the way down to 1200 RPM. There we go. And I press one again, and now we're at time. So I'm going to set the time for 5 a.m. That's what time I want this to start. There we go. Press it again, and now we're under duration. And I want eight hours. There we go. And that's it. We've set speed one. So let's move to speed two. So eight hours after this 1200 RPM program starts, we're going to begin this next speed. And as I mentioned, that's going to be 2500 RPM. We're gonna do five hours at 2500 RPM. And that's actually what we've got here right now is five hours, so that's perfect at 2500. Then we're going to select speed three, and we're going to drop this all the way back down to 1200. So again, what we've effectively done there is we broke up that long 15 hour stretch into an eight hour stretch and a seven hour stretch, 
with 2500 RPM running for five hours in the middle there. There we go, 1200. And that's perfect. Seven hours is exactly how long I want that to run for. So now we select speed four, and here, 3200, that's exactly what we're going for. And there, it's set for four hours. You actually can't go any more than that because this is based on a 24 hour clock and we've run out of time. I mean, I could go less. Let's say I set this for three hours. Well, then what would happen is the pump would just turn off and not run for one hour before starting up again. But I like to promote 24 hour variable speed pump schedules as this is the way to get the most efficient filtration of water. The lowest cost for filtration is to run at low speeds for long hours. And that's what we've done here is we've got low speeds of 1200 RPM for 15 hours, but we still have five hours at 2500 RPM and four hours at 3200 RPM. So effectively, we've got quite a lot of filtration happening here, but this should be a fairly economical uh, program. So now that we've got this all programmed in here, one, two, three, four, that's everything that we need to do. It's now effectively programmed. If I hit, uh, you know, select manual mode here over to schedule, there we go. And if I hit the start button now, that's it. It's going to start running that program that we just programmed in there. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.